Hello, my friends, my young friends, how are you today? So, have you gotten back into school yet, in person? How's that going? So feel free to comment below in the YouTube version of this, or if any of you, you know any of the kids that are back in school, we'd love to know how things are going. It was good to see a group of you last week at our game night. So, I still miss you all. It's been over a year since I've seen some of you in person, and it's been way too long. So nonetheless, as you notice, I'm doing your lesson today as Grandma Susie is on a much-deserved vacation. So she's going to be gone for a little while, so you'll have me, and then you're going to have Grandma Carolyn tell you some share some stories with you as well. Well, today I want to start with an object. So what... What am I holding here? Well, I think if it, if it cooperates with me here, we got a tape measure. Yeah, so we can always measure things. And so I think if I measured myself, I'm like five foot 11 or six feet tall. You can also measure pieces of wood that you're gonna cut, or you can measure your room to see how how much carpet you need when you put new carpet, or how much paint you're going to need to paint the walls. So there's so many ways that we measure things. Even here in the church we have some measurements, you know, whether how many people are in church on Sunday, you know, how much offering people give. So those are some measurements too. But, you know, have you ever thought about God's love? Have you ever been able to measure God's love? Yeah, I don't think I've measured it either. Well, today in our gospel lesson, we hear a verse that you've probably heard before at Vacation Bible School or in your Sunday school lesson called John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son. And God did not send Jesus to condemn the world, but to save the world. Well, it's out of God's love for us that God sent Jesus. And God sent Jesus to shine light in our darkness. In the Gospel of John, we see a lot of references to light. And that's the same thing too. Well, light is good. And sometimes darkness isn't bad, but like what Jesus is saying here, the darkness is a different level here. And Jesus is equating darkness with maybe some bad choices that we might make. So, you know, sometimes we might want to pick on a classmate or... You know, we might want to take someone's lunch or take someone's candy or something that they have that we don't. Or we might, you know, see something in them and make fun of them for that. Well, those are all things in the darkness that Jesus is talking about in our gospel lesson today. And yet, we still have God's love with us and we can turn around from that. So maybe sometimes if we've made bad choices, we have a chance to... Come to the light of Christ and make good choices, you know, to maybe help that classmate that's struggling with their homework. So if you're good at math and somebody's not, maybe offer to help them or another subject in school. Maybe offer to you know, help your parents around the house and cleaning the house or the yards. And even at the grocery store, you know, Maybe if you see something fall down, pick it back up and put it back on the shelf. So there's so many ways that we can make good choices and turn around. And that's what Jesus is talking about too, when he said that God sent God's only son to save the world, because God loves us that much. And God is like our parents. You know, we might not always make the best choices in our life, and yet God is still going to love us. God is going to offer forgiveness or grace, which when we accept God's grace, it's a wonderful feeling. And then it can help us to try and make good choices, to keep trying to do everything. And we're not going to do it perfect, and I don't even do anything perfect. And even if I'm a pastor, I don't necessarily do things perfect because I'm human too. And yet, I accept God's forgiveness and grace when I don't always make the best choices. And that's a good news in that. Because I also know that God's light and the light of Christ is so much brighter 
than any darkness that we can be in. So you think we could try that this week as we look to the light of Christ and remember how much God loves us? Because unlike this tape measure, we can't really measure God's love because God's love is so wide and God's love is so deep. That's why I love following Christ. And I hope you will too, especially on this journey through the season of Lent as we turn toward the light of Christ. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the light of Christ. We thank you that you love us so much, so much that we can't measure it. We thank you, Lord, that you love us like our moms and dads and grandparents and aunts and uncles or family of choice love us. And we pray, Lord, for so many wonderful things. We also pray that you can Help us to make the right choices in life. And that you can help us to know that light is so much stronger than darkness. We ask this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you all have a good week. I know we're getting close to spring break before long. So before we have Easter break. And I don't know if you've started having any of the chocolates or all the yummy goodies that Easter brings. But won't be long before that either or all the nice, beautiful flowers around us and the blossoms, even though we just had some snow this week, too. So I hope you all have a good week. I miss you all, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!